Hello my hungry friends! Today we're making Polish pickles and brine. Ogórki małosolne. Hi friends! Welcome back to Polish Your Kitchen. Today we are going to make exciting spring dish. Pickles are in season. These guys are only available in season in Poland and springtime is here, so I couldn't wait to show you how to make these. Uh, pickles that I'm making today will be done in salted brine and they are not canned, meaning they're not closed in a jar. They're gonna be sitting on our counter and uh, getting flavor from all the ingredients that we put in the jar and we pick one and we just eat them. There's no recipe for it later. You just eat them. They're just so delicious. They sour in the brine and uh, become uh, fragrant from the garlic and the dill and all the other stuff that we put in it. Super easy. This will take you probably all of five minutes to make. And I'm gonna put the link to my recipe in the description of this video, so go ahead and check it out. And super easy. Let's get to it. I have a jar that I've sanitized. You can use any glass, ceramic, or po Polish pottery. Also, um, uh, clay just finished. It needs to be glazed. Uh, container, and I've sanitized mine. And if you've ever been to a Polish market in the spring, you'll see these little bundles. And those are our pickling bundles. Uh, they make it super easy for us. So. In it, you will find a piece of dill, a few twigs of dill. Uh, you will find leaves of, of horseradish. And these are wet because I've washed this. And this particular one has a young leek in it too, which sometimes I put in, sometimes I don't. Uh, kind of depends on if I have it or not. And a piece of horseradish root that I've peeled. And this is what it looks like when it's um, unpeeled. You can find those in the all summer long too. And a bunch of garlic. So to do this dish, we are gonna stuff our pickles. And I kind of li like to stand them up like this so I can fit more because they go like hot cakes. Hot cakes don't go as fast as, as these in my house. Uh, they're supposed to sit on the counter for, you know, at least a couple days. Three or four <laughs> would probably be best because then they become sour and uh, the water kind of gets fermenty and bubbly, but they often <laughs> don't last that long. They're super delicious. And um, I cut the ends, I cut the end that uh, has the stem off just because nobody eats that part anyway and I kind of like how it looks in the jar. So here's my pickles and then to it I want to add a bunch of garlic. And again recipe in uh, link to in the description. So these go in and I'm not going to use the whole part of this leek. I'm just going to use this much and it's nice and clean, shove it in there and I normally do it so the pickles are covered with stuff on top because if they're not touching water or if they're not underwater they may become soft and mushy. So we want all of this to be covered. Uh, these pickles in Poland are called ogórki małosolne. And that means little salt cucumbers. So, so that means they're not being uh, pickled or fermented for a very long time. Uh, I called them on my website uh, two-day pickles because that's when they taste the best. They are still kind of green and fresh on the inside, uh, but you can already taste uh, the, the tanginess of the brine. You can tell that they've uh, gone through the fermentation process a little bit. And they're just delicious. You see them all over the country uh, around this time and then through the summer. 
Uh, they're just, there's nothing like it. Uh, when I lived in America, uh, I had a hard time finding these uh, dill flowers. Uh, you can just use normal dill, uh, green dill that you, or fresh dill that you find at the grocery store. If you have a garden and you have these, perfect. But if you don't, don't, uh, don't stress too much about it. And you can exp uh, experiment with different um, ingredients in your own pickles too. You can follow my recipe if you're just starting out. I have to wash this. But once you do, you can adjust the recipe to whatever flavors you like. Um, you can do onions also, although I don't do onions a lot at all. Um, if you can't find, I know these are really hard to find uh, in the States. If you can't find uh, horseradish leaves, you can replace with grape leaves or uh, cherry leaves. Um, grandma used to say that uh, leaves kind of make the pickles crunchy and they don't turn them mushy when they sit in the salty water. Uh, so you should be able to find one of these. Um, I've tried it with uh, grape leaves and both cherry leaves and they don't really give out too much flavor. Uh, so it works. So try that. Okay, so uh, my horseradish leaf goes in and I think that's all I'm going to do as far as uh, green stuff. Uh, and to it, we are going to pour in salted water. And the recipe is simple. You do one tablespoon of salt. Just go with good quality salt. Uh, either rock salt or Himalayan salt uh, will work. If you're buying the ida, ida, iodized. Iodized, if you're buying the iodized salt, it, to me it kind of messes with the flavor. So try to do non-iodized rock salt or Himalayan salt or sea salt. Even better. It's all natural. Nature is best for as far as food. So why why mess with with the fake stuff? Uh, so our brine is one liter which is one quart of water to one tablespoon of salt. And I like to boil my water or bring it up to boil and put the salt in there, make sure it dissolves really well. And then we just pour the hot, like hot water, hot salt water into, uh, into our pickles. I found that this process, pickling with salty water is unique to Poland. Well, most, most countries or a lot of people pickle with vinegar. And we do make vinegar-based pickles also. Uh, those are called uh, ogurki konservove. <laughs> I had to think about it. Uh, and these are the, the salt brine pickles are called ogurki kishone, which means that they've been uh, pickling in salty brine and have soured through the process of sitting in salty water. So I have my salt dissolved here in the hot water. So I just pour this in. And as soon as the hot water hits the veggies, I can smell the dill and I can smell the garlic and it's gorgeous already. And we have, we have our pickles. Now the key and the, the trick and the hard part is to not go in there for <laughs> at least a couple days. Uh, cover them with uh, something that will be a little bit heavier. They'll keep our um, ingredients in the jar. If you don't have anything, this works for me. I just keep pushing this in and just kind of keep an eye on it can push it with a wooden spoon if you want to. And then I cover it with a lid. And just like this, this sits on my counter. So we'll check back with my pickles in a couple days and then you'll see how they're looking and they're gonna start kind of turning a little bit different color green. Um, and then we'll give them a taste. Hi friends, it's been two days. Our pickles are pickling. Look at the murky water. 
this is normal this is the water turns uh, briny like this and it started to turn our pickles a little sour so I'm gonna take one out and if you take a look inside here too sometimes you will see a white kind of a kind of film yeah that collects on top uh, that's normal and you can also see little bubbles that are just coming up from the water or being around the, the veggies so they're ready to eat now <clears throat> and they're gonna become more and more sour every day but you can start eating and in my home they are normally just grabbed from the jar one by one and by day three or four the jar is gone so um, you can eat them just like this or you can put them in a salad or you can just eat them like this I'm gonna take a little knife and cut it through so you can see the inside well these turn completely completely green but sometimes or like this darker green but sometimes they'll be spots of a little lighter green and but they're nice and sour they're not vigor obviously they're not vinegar based or they're, they're salt based good Yummo. oh yeah crunchy but still fresh mm -hmm. and when you're done with the pickles you can drink the water it's great antibiotic uh not antibiotic um Probiotic. Probiotic. Or you can use the water to make pickle soup. And I do have a recipe uh, for pickle soup on my channel, so search around. These are our pickles. Ogurki uh, maosorn. I hope you make them at home. I hope you spread the joy of Polish food. Enjoy. Smacznego. See you next time. <laughs>